Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Action Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm here with... Derek Kirkpatrick. And what did you do today, Derek? I took first place at Locals with Dark Magician. Very nice. Let's see that deck profile. Alright, so you play three of the boy, Dark Magician. You need to actually play three of this. It, it's kind of bricky, but he's the main part in the deck. You need it. Um, we play two Red Eyes Black Dragon. It seems weird to play two, but it actually somehow makes the deck more consistent, and you can make more Dragoons. You're also playing three of your Stratos. It's Magician's Rod. He searches any Dark Magician spell or trap card. You play three Magician's Souls. Uh, Magician's Souls, super good card in, mo in a lot of combo decks from formats ago. Even better in Dark Magician because most people don't realize it has a second effect which lets you Monster Reborn a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. We play two Apprentice Illusion Magician. Um, she is kind of like a Dark Magician Honest. She gives them 2,000 attack over any spellcaster, including Dragoons because it doesn't target. Also, it searches Dark Magician and you can just discard a card to special summon it. We play a Dark Magician Girl. Most of the time you send her off of Souls. Uh, but she's in there to use with Soul Servant so you can draw an extra card. And we play three Ash Blossom as our hand trap. Um, it's just kind of standard, hits most decks in format. We'll play three Dark Magical Circle. It's Pot of Duality for Dark Magicians. Um, and it banishes a card whenever a Dark Magician is special summoned. So it's another interruption. We play three Soul Servant. So a quick play, you get to stack any Dark Magician card to the top of your deck, and you can banish it to draw up to cards up to the number of Dark Magicians, Dark Magician Girls, or Palladium Monsters in your deck. But I don't play Palladiums, they are super bricky. Uh, it's pretty good to also combo with Upstart Goblin. I play three Red Eyes Fusion. It is Dragoons.deck. Um, you need this card. I play a Magicalized Fusion. Helps make Dragoons, helps make a, make a bunch of other stuff in the extra deck. Love this card. We play a Dark Magic Attack. Uh, instead of playing a Harpy's Feather Dress from the main because it's searchable. We play Secrets of Dark Magic. This is a fusion spell that is quick play, so you can use it during battle phase. Or I used it twice today to just hard make Dragoons when I had a Red Eyes and a Dark Magician in my hand. Play two Dark Ruler No More. Um, just kind of help you get through the boards. I would have played three, but I was kind of running low on space. And honestly, two, I saw it enough. Yeah. We play our Upstart Goblin to use in tandem with Soul Servant to just draw a card that we needed. Uh, two Pot of Prosperity. I would play three, um, but I was just running low on space, and I wanted to play around 42, so I just stuck with the two. And I, I saw it probably four times today. It was fine. Play Eternal Soul. So, this card is one of your best cards, but it's also the bane of your existence. You can special summon a Dark Magician from hand or grave. That dark ma your Dark Magicians are unaffected by spell card by any effect. But the problem is, if it dies, you lose all your monsters on the field. However, Dragoons can't be destroyed, so it just does nothing to Dragoons. And it also searches Dark Magic Attack, which is really neat. We play one Magician's Navigation. Uh, this summons a Dark Magician from hand, and then you special summon a level seven or lower Dark Spellcaster type monster from your deck. Um, also, if it's in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to negate a face of spell or trap card on the field. We play three Summon Limit. You're playing against, you're playing a lot against combo, Combo would usually just beat you down, so you play the three summon limits so they can't do as much as they would like to do. And we also play two Quaking Mirror Force. Try to out your opponent's Dragoons. Uh, I have another cool tech that, out, that outs Dragoons. Uh, I'll show it when we get to side deck. But this card, I love this card so much. Uh, we get to our extra deck. We play one M Duck. Uh, this is just to link off a Dark Magician if you need to make a Predaplant. You play Predaplant, uh, help you make Dragoons. Sometimes I even make the Dark Magicians or a couple uh, different other cards with it, because you play Magicalized. IP Mascarena. Uh, it doesn't come up much, but sometimes it's pretty nice to be able to end on this if you don't have any other choices. 
Um, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Phoenix generic background removal, uh, Unicorn make it with uh, IP, and access code. You will almost never make this, but when you do, it's really impactful. We also play our super poly targets. Starving Venom, Borolode Furious Dragon, and World Legacy Guard Dragon Ombarak, or Armaduker, however you say that. Uh, this you use with three Link monsters. So playing against combo decks with like Dragon Link, you can just flip a super poly and take all their guard dragons and make this guy. We also play Dark Magician the Dragon Knight and Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Um, so if you have a Red Eyes in your grave, and you have one of these guys in your grave, and you have Magical Eyes Fusion, you can just use that to make one of these two. Um, you'll play the Dark Magicians. Card's super expensive. Um, I kind of see why. I didn't end up making it today, because it just didn't come up. But I really like this card because uh, you can get a quick, you can get a draw as a quick effect when a spell or trap is activated. I mean, and then, to be fair, though, most of this deck is like really expensive. Oh yeah, and if it's outed, you get to special summon a dark magician and a dark magician girl. Then we play three red eyes dragoon. It actually sometimes comes up to make all three of these in one game. You can do it with this deck. It's really nuts. Next side deck. We play a Pancratops. Uh, I cited it once today, and it helped me get out of a uh, Necrod's Unicorn. It was really good. Uh, two Phantasme. Do two Nibiru. Uh, two Lancia. I really like the hand, the sided hand traps at two. I don't know why, but it, they just kind of feel right at that number. We also play three Super Poly. Um, so Super Poly targets, but also, if you don't know, Red Eyes Fusion makes any monster it summons named Red Eyes Black Dragon. So you can out a Dragoons with Super Poly by summoning a Dark Magician and fusing it with the. You can fuse the Dark Magician with the with your opponent's Dragoons to make a Dragoons of your own. We'll play Harpy's Feather Duster, back row removal, evenly matched. Uh, just kind of honestly, I think I use this more for baiting out negates than I do anything else because it always gets negated or I just use it against a back row deck and they always have a solemn judgment and then red reboot we're hitting back row decks and that is the deck all right thank you very much for the deck profile do you have any shout outs uh action Yu-Gi-Oh, of course um and I, I guess that's it the, right. my, my team for boy and pals <laughs> don't want to do pig and meh and pig and meh over there because he's being salty about it Thanks for watching the video. Tell me in the comments section down below what you'd like to see next, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.